Today we're taking you inside one of the most powerful tools in the U.S. Marines arsenal, the Amphibious Combat Vehicle, ACV. Capable of cruising through water for over 12 hours and reaching speeds of 65 miles per hour on land, this beast is designed to dominate both sea and shore. From its heavy armor to advanced weaponry, the ACV is built to take Marines anywhere they need to go. Stick around as we dive into the cutting edge technology behind this amphibious powerhouse. In aquatic environments, the ACV's advanced design allows it to operate as a fully amphibious vehicle, offering capabilities far beyond the older AAV-7. Powered by dual rear propellers, the ACV can travel at speeds of up to six knots, 11 kilometers per H, making it highly effective in open water, coastal approaches, and riverine environments. Unlike traditional amphibious vehicles, which might struggle in rough seas, the ACV is built to handle challenging water conditions, ensuring that Marines can deploy from ships positioned far offshore, reducing exposure to enemy shore defenses. With an impressive 12-hour water endurance, it is equipped to conduct long-range extended operations from ship to shore, giving commanders greater strategic flexibility in launching assaults from different locations or bypassing heavily defended coastlines altogether. The ACV's ability to travel considerable distances in the water means it can avoid predictable landing zones, offering a tactical advantage by allowing forces to strike in less fortified areas. This is particularly useful in modern warfare, where adversaries are increasingly using anti-access slash area denial. A2 slash AD strategies, relying on long range weapons to keep naval forces at bay. The ACV mitigates this threat by enabling forces to launch amphibious assaults from greater distances, enhancing the element of surprise and reducing vulnerability during the critical transition from sea to land. Once ashore, the ACV truly comes into its own as a formidable land combat vehicle. Equipped with an 8x8 wheel configuration, it boasts exceptional speed and agility on land, reaching 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per H on paved roads. This capability allows it to keep pace with mechanized forces and quickly cover ground in tactical scenarios. In comparison to older tracked amphibious vehicles like the AAV-7, the wheeled ACV offers a significant improvement in speed, maneuverability, in overall efficiency on solid terrain. It can effortlessly traverse various types of surfaces, from soft beach sands to rugged, uneven terrain, which is essential for inland operations following amphibious landings. The ACV's ability to transition seamlessly from water to land also shortens the critical, vulnerable period during an amphibious assault the time when forces are most exposed as they disembark from landing craft and move to shore. With the ACV, Marines can deploy directly from the water and immediately enter combat, minimizing the window of vulnerability. This capability is crucial in high stakes operations where every second counts and the ability to move swiftly and decisively can mean the difference between mission success and failure. Beyond the immediate tactical advantages, the ACV is also designed with an operational range of over 300 miles, 480 kilometers, on land, meaning it can travel long distances without the need for refueling or resupply, making it ideal for extended campaigns. This long-range mobility allows it to operate independently or alongside other armored vehicles providing crucial logistical support to advancing marine units. In amphibious warfare, where marines must navigate between drastically different environments and conditions, the ACV's dual environment capabilities make it an invaluable asset, whether navigating through open water, maneuvering up a river, or speeding across rugged land, the ACV ensures that the marines can maintain their momentum adapt to changing combat conditions, and carry out their missions effectively. The cost of military vehicles like the ACV is a critical consideration for the U.S. Department of Defense. Each ACV comes at a price of around $7.5 million, 
depending on the configuration and additional systems included. While this might seem expensive, it is an investment in the safety, mobility, and combat effectiveness of the Marines. The U.S. Marine Corps has committed to purchasing over 700 ACVs in total with an initial batch of 204 vehicles. The program, led by BAE Systems, continues to develop and refine the ACV, ensuring that it remains relevant in future conflicts as new technologies and threats emerge. As production increases, the unit cost is expected to decrease, making it a more cost-effective solution for the long term. The ACV is built with survivability as a top priority. Modern warfare often involves asymmetric threats, including improvised explosive devices and mines. The ACV addresses these concerns with a V-shaped hull, which provides enhanced protection against blasts from below, minimizing the impact of explosions and safeguarding the Marines inside. The ACV's armor is designed to resist small arms fire and artillery fragments offering robust protection in hostile environments. Furthermore, it can be fitted with additional layers of armor or active protection systems to counteract threats like rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, and anti-tank guided missiles, providing a significant improvement over older models. Beyond its armor, the ACV is equipped with NBC, nuclear, biological, and chemical protection systems, allowing Marines to continue operations in areas affected by these hazardous conditions. This ensures that the vehicle remains a vital asset in the increasingly unpredictable and dangerous battlefields of the future. While the ACV's primary mission is to transport Marines safely from sea to land, it also packs a punch in terms of firepower. The standard configuration of the ACV is equipped with an M2 machine gun, which offers a reliable and powerful tool for engaging enemy personnel and light vehicles. However, the ACV's weapon system can be upgraded depending on mission requirements. It can mount a remote weapon station, which may include a 25mm-242 Bushmaster chain gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, providing the vehicle with the firepower needed to engage more heavily armored targets or support ground troops in firefights. This adaptability makes the ACV not just a transport vehicle, but an effective combat asset capable of supporting infantry in both offensive and defensive operations. The Marines within the ACV are able to disembark quickly upon reaching shore, with the vehicle providing suppressive fire as they move toward their objectives. The ACV is a cornerstone of the U.S. Marines amphibious assault strategy. It is primarily deployed from amphibious assault ships which are designed to carry and launch vehicles like the ACV directly into the water. Some of the key ships from which the ACV is deployed include amphibious assault ships such as the WASP class and America class vessels. Amphibious transport dock ships like the USS Anchorage which have well decks for launching amphibious vehicles. Dock landing ships, which also support ACV deployment during amphibious operations. These ships serve as floating bases, allowing the ACV to rapidly transition from sea to land as part of an assault force. Once deployed from the ship's well deck, the ACV moves swiftly through the water to deliver Marines and equipment directly to the battlefield. This ability to project power from the sea makes the ACV a vital part of the U.S. Marines' expeditionary capabilities. The ACV's modular design ensures that it is not just a vehicle for today, but one that can be adapted for the challenges of tomorrow. Future variants of the ACV will likely include versions tailored for specific roles, such as command and control, medical evacuation, and reconnaissance. As warfare evolves, so too will the requirements placed on the vehicles used by the Marines. The ACV is well positioned to meet those needs, with the potential for upgrades in areas like unmanned systems integration and improved communications technologies. This adaptability ensures that the ACV will remain a critical component of U.S. Marine operations for decades to come. In conclusion, 
The amphibious combat vehicle is a cutting edge solution for amphibious and ground combat operations, providing enhanced protection, mobility, and firepower. As the U.S. Marine Corps continues to modernize its forces, the ACV stands at the forefront of their strategy, ensuring that the Marines are equipped to face the challenges of modern warfare, both on land and at sea. Do you think the Amphibious Combat Vehicle, ACV, is a game changer for modern military operations? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching our video on the Amphibious Combat Vehicle. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more military insights and updates. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest videos. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and we'll see you next time.